What's up, gamers and gamers? It's your boy Izzy D Gamer here once again. What's up, gamers and gamers? It's your boy Izzy D Gamer here once again, bringing you another episode of Izzy reviews man there's a lot to remember without writing anything down but today we're getting into star wars visions episode two tatooine rap city so yeah i don't know what to expect i already like the anime style just judging by the background hopefully it's the right one this time unlike last week's episode which we which i was correct in assuming that it was the cg um anime that I wasn't actually too excited for. It actually turned out being pretty good. It was actually short so and uh, straight to the point, so I was really able to get into it. Uh, and I actually hope that we see him again somewhere within the Star Wars and Mythos, man, because he seems like a really cool Jedi slash Sith. He's very mysterious, so I have a lot of questions about who that Jedi was. But he was stealing Sith Kyber crystals and he had them all down his jacket. Very interesting indeed. Let's see what episode two has to bring to us today. Without further ado, let's get that freak into it, guys. Studio. Colorado presents Tatooine Rhapsody. Okay. Studio Colorado. Let's see what you guys got. This is a short one too. Only 12 minutes long. Seems like a young kid. Let's go. Okay, so this is just the style. I guess all of them look like lightweight chibi to uh, SD style. Which I'm fine with. It does confuse me about how old they are though. But dang, they going off on the drums. Uh, hey guys, we're sort of playing a gig here. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to. We're never gonna find his name up. Come along, Jabba's been looking for you. Oh shoot! If you resist, we'll just. That's Boba. <laughs> Tell me, does Jabba want my? <laughs> Let's rock him! <laughs> oh shoot! They're all fighters. This guy seems like he sucks at being a Jedi though. Like maybe he's not, maybe he sold that lightsaber or something. I like it. I'm digging this anime style, definitely. There's a little CG mix right here for the ship. Yeah, if it's Boba. Ah, that's why I was like, yeah, I don't know if he would stop. Yeah, slave one. It's over. Or slave, right? It's pointless to resist, but I can wait. I don't even know what I did. You know. I don't care about Hut Legacy. I won't join Jabba. Being part of that syndicate is boring. Uh, We're part Jabba of is not to be crossed. What? No, wait! Uh. Stop! You really want to do this? 
Was it broke? I think so. Cause it's a little slower pace. Because he doesn't really the main character doesn't really know how to fight, it seems like. Which I'm down with. Still curious about his backstory and stuff. How did he come across that lightsaber? I know that! I know that, but I can't just abandon him. After all we've been through. So he was a he was a youngling, it seems like, in training. He never got fully trained. I'm just guessing here, though. Let's see. You gotta love the beauty of anime, man. And this style is so good. First time we played together, we had a lot of fun. Dad, did they actually finish that stuff? <laughs> Jay. You were right, Curdy. In the end, we're just a band. So it's kind of like a chibi style, though. Like everything is like smaller than it. Actually, is Guys, with like bigger, larger you heads. We you know, to deal with like, these are adults right so here. Let us perform adults. before he executes you. We only get one song, so have you lost your minds? You don't need to get caught up in this. You oh shoot, this is uh, there's Fortuna. I think his name is. I do with the weird tentacle around his neck. Been here since we formed the band, Geese. Let's make this our best show ever. He's from like the the original Star Wars trilogy. Let's rock. This is cool though, man. Seeing Java like, or not even Java, but seeing Boba Fett in his uh, in like anime style. That's really cool. Too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. Man. Come on and lose yourself now, everybody. This guy. Oh yeah. This is kind of a little. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little off for me. <laughs> but I'm down. Like, it's following this this team that's a part of a. I mean, they're all a part of a band, but he's a Jedi. I really like the art style, though. That looks great. And I'm digging this song. I ain't gonna cat. <laughs> the job is sitting there wagging his tail. Oh, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Cause ja oh, no, 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 okay. They're performing for Java. I missed a little bit of the story. Oh, so. Okay. This is... Like, that, that, like, that scenery looked amazing when they, like, zoom when they zoomed out to everybody. Such a good job, man. I wonder how long that took to draw. We'll give... How do you feel about becoming our first... Oh, they're trying to get Java to sponsor them. One more song. One more song. So I guess instead of maybe instead of getting executed, and he's trying to get sponsored by Java. Why is he flinching? You got the force, man. Yeah, nice. So they saved themselves from being executed. GGs. This is great. Honestly, I'm feeling this, man. I, I, did, I, I dig anime so much. Like I said, man, I'll keep saying this until this series is over. Star Wars is the best thing to adapt into an anime, no cap. And I hope that they do more more like this or maybe come out with a, a serious episode or a series that's a fully fledged anime all the way through and through. This is really great. This is really great. So I'm guessing Okay, so the way that Star Wars has worked in the past, it's been like a complete, um, like everything is connected. Everything's inter interconnected. Ever since Disney pur purchased it, they kind of called all the old school stuff that was out before Disney bought it. Legacy, except for the movies, and Clone Wars, the TV series. And um, 
since then they've come out with books comic books and everything and all that's been connected to one universe so i'm hoping that these stories that are happening in this anime anthology are also canon also canon stuff and maybe they can come revisit these characters if you know it's a pot it was a popular episode or something like that that'd be really cool um or maybe they can build off of these ideas and bring them over to the big screen but i'm really hoping that they do a redo of the entire um the entire movie series so episodes one we can forget about <laughs> episode seven eight nine you know what i'm saying leave those alone but <laughs> the episodes one through six in the movies i really hope that they redo redo those as anime I'm all for it, but to review to review this episode, I think it is great. Um, definitely a nice new take on Star Wars. I was not expecting it to go that route, even though it's called Tattoo and Rhapsody. So I had a feeling that it was going to revolve around some sort of music. Um, they definitely went a completely different style. Definitely not a Star Wars kind of jazz, galactical jazz style that they normally go for. But it was like legit rock pop rock at that so you know that's my favorite type of rock or really the only type of rock i listen to so i was for it <laughs> i was definitely so i was sold on it and like i said before they didn't give us the main character's name but it seemed like he was not trained as a jedi he just happened to have a lightsaber i don't know where he got the lightsaber from he was wearing jedi gear though when they found him from the flashback so it seems like he might be a um like he was trained he was an underling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um which i thought was pretty cool um but yeah other than that uh pretty great episode overall and uh thank you guys so much for tuning in this has been your man's izzy the gamer once again you could uh expect another episode of um uh, uh izzy reviews coming up and we still got episodes of uh of the of the what if series coming so if you're really into that be ch be sure to check out that last episode that's coming guys all right and until next time happy gaming peace <laughs>